Hello, it's Boxing Day and I'm missing you all. What can I tell you? Oh, we had the non-verbal and the maths workshops last Saturday. It went really well. It's great. Um, particularly the non-verbal. Well, I enjoyed the maths. I really enjoyed the maths. But the non-verbal, just tackling those sort of, those base core line skills. Because if you can get that bit tweaked, then everything else is easy to build on. So I, that, that, that was fun. Then, um, oh, don't, don't worry about this um, diagram. I'll sort that out in a moment. Um, I had the flood at my mother-in-law's. She's on the top of the hill, but there was about an inch of um, water in the kitchen. The pipe work broke um, from the rising rain and it was gushing everywhere. We couldn't fill up the sinks. It's going out the um, window at vast thing. Morley absolutely froze to death because he was covered in frozen water. But do you know what was amazing was that the builder that we got to come out, well, firstly, my mother-in-law had phoned two plumbers and they said no. Um, my the builder that came out was in Amesbury and he just he just came bless him I mean Christmas Eve this was and he just came he didn't have to do that he did his wife came with the dehumidifier for us um, wasn't that lovely I mean we've had them for other work and they've been so diligent on the detail but I thought that was above and beyond the call of duty I have to say I'm very grateful otherwise we'd still be there swimming by now but <laughs> all of Salisbury would have been swimming by now but well done him, it's sort of, it's nice. The Advent course, that's gone well. And again, we've been sort of covering those core skills. If you haven't done it so far, it will be up until I think the 5th of January. So um, particularly if you're a boy, do the non-verbal reasoning. Um, and everybody do the comprehension ones because that in the first mock exam, the average score for the comprehension is about 40%-ish. So I know it needs work, I know that. And oh, now the most thing I wanted to show you was this diagram. And that's, uh, let's just get my pen sorted out. Ugh, it's going to ask me to rasterize it. I've no idea what that means. Now, because you're doing this here, that puts you way ahead. Um, imagine you've started here. Now, you've ooh, seen the amount of progress you've made, haven't you? It's phenomenal progress at the beginning. Well, what then happens is, should we just change that so it's not snap? I don't like it snapping. We'll go Command Z, we'll get rid of that. Now, hopefully, it'll be a smooth line. Watch this. Oh, look at that. So, you've seen the amount of progress you've made. It's huge, isn't it? The problem is, is for every week you take off, it takes you a week to get back to where you are. You know this from whether you play football, don't you, or instruments or things. We all get rusty quite fast on, I mean, even on driving. If I haven't driven for a little while, I, I need to rethink it. And certainly when it comes to setting the TV remotes. So, if you carry on, so we'll say this is the start of the Christmas holiday. If you carry on working, you've made steady progress. There we are. we'll go. Bloo, bloo, bloo. Um, so that's week one. We'll go up to week one there and we'll say that's week two. It's purely arbitrary. Now, those children that aren't making that work, not only will they, um, they won't, they'll, they'll gradually go off over the week. They'll go off over this week. And then they'll start working again and they'll get going and they'll be working every bit as hard as you are. But can you see, it takes them a week to get back to where they were and another week to get back to where they were. So by this stage, you have got a four week advantage because just by taking two weeks off, they are four weeks behind because you've continued as one week of progress, second week of progress, third week of progress, fourth week of progress. They've got one week going backwards, one week going backwards, one week catching up, one week catching up. You are already almost a whole half term ahead. It's good, isn't it? So get in there and go for it. And, but play, have lots of time with family, play, have lots of fun. Have a lovely Christmas and um, thank you for being here. Bye-bye.